Bonin passed away just 29 days after she was diagnosed with stage 4 stomach cancer. She was only 55 years old. In the final days before her death she decided to get everything in order, sorting her finances, arranging her funeral and writing cards to her friends and loved ones. Knowing there was a good chance she wouldn't see her son Kevin's 30th birthday she also made up a box of his favorite things to have delivered to him on the special day. With a bit of help from daughter Alice, 21, devoted mum Carol carefully collected and wrapped his favorite aftershave, boxers, socks, and photos. Kevin, from Belfast, said, I wasn't even thinking about my birthday. It never even entered my head. I was still mourning. I was given the box a few days after my birthday. There was my favorite aftershave, boxers, socks and some of our favorite photos together. She made sure it was as real and as normal as possible. She filled it with sentimental things that I can keep forever. I found it mind-blowing. Mum was dying but was still thinking of other people. I was elated that she was still thinking of me all the time. I felt huge warmth and sadness at the same time. I am so happy to have had someone like that in my life. It's amazing to know she was still thinking of us when she was on her deathbed. I felt so honored. Carol who worked as a care assistant, passed away last year after going to her GP because she was experiencing a loss of appetite and heartburn. She was referred to Belfast's Mater Hospital for a CT scan which revealed she had incurable grade 4 stomach cancer in March last year. Carol, who was married to Paul, 50, was told her only option was life-prolonging chemotherapy. The family clung on to the hope Carol would survive for at least a few months, but after celebrating Street. Patrick's day at home, her condition deteriorated. She was rushed back to hospital with fluid on the stomach and tests showed the cancer was spreading, Kevin said. In her final days, Marie Curie nurses came to her home to look after her overnight and give her more time in her own bed. It felt like we were shoved onto a roller coaster that we didn't want to get on, said Ulster University student Kevin. She seemed very accepting of it. She had accepted her death sentence. For her she just wanted to make the most of the day she had left. The cancer had spread so much by the time it was spotted there were no treatment options left. The nurses were the loveliest ladies I've ever met. They would let us get some sleep and said they'd wake us if they needed us. It was such a relief to have them there. Really, it would have been petrifying to not have them there overnight. I was terrified that something would go wrong and she would die alone as we slept. When she died it was just so unexpected. I was in disbelief that it was happening to us. You never think anything like this will happen to you. I always thought my mom would live to 100. She was our protector and was so strong. I thought she was indestructible, but when she died it was like she was a blade of grass that had been cut away. In her final preparations, Carol died on April 5 last year. 
also planned her own funeral. Kevin said, we gave her the best possible send-off. She wanted everyone to be happy at her wake, and she wanted us to have a disco. We slowly and surely got back to normal, but we're dealing with a lot of grief. Since Carol's death, her family has raised more than £2,000 for Marie Curie, which provides support for cancer sufferers and their families. Kevin and his relatives plan to spend the first anniversary of her death on April 5th, together peacefully remembering Carol in private. Kevin speaks openly about his mum's death on his blog, which can be found by visiting www. Read more top news stories from Mirror Online.